I don't think Algonac has a heavyweight, so we may have uh, a void for Brandon Patterson for the Vikings. Here comes Brandon out, checks in. Right now, Brandon Patterson takes the win. Big win for the Vikings. All right, we go to 103 now. It is Blankenship that's out there, and once again, I don't see a, a muskrat wrestler coming in at the 103, so we Looks have like a second void in a row. This is good for the Vikings, even though it's probably not the way they'd want to win, but it's getting the points up when they're doing that. They'll take it. It's a good jab for the Vikings. They're now taking the lead. That looks like Matthew Volpe. Number two, Matt Volpe, the senior, coming out for the Vikings. They just have a lot of braces and tape on them. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's just a, if he has a existing injury or I can't tell, but he's got the big brace on his shoulder and his rib and then the knee brace and the tape on his hand. I'm not sure if either the tape on his hand could be for like more friction so he can get more grip or. Got that shoulder taped up pretty good. That's got to be a tough injury for a wrestler as much weight and leverage as they try to put. But it's Adam Pender for the Muskrats, the sophomore against Matt Volpe, the senior. Matt's being very aggressive early on, going low. Good job. All right. All right, it looks like Volpe is being pushed out of bounds while on a single leg, but he's trying to get the front of his face. All right, good job by Volpe getting on top. Good job by Matt Volpe. Oh, he's got the turn now. All right, he's got his one leg um, wrapped up, so it's making it harder for the guy on bottom to be able to move more. Volpe has a lot of control. I've watched a few matches that Matt has been in. This is, seems to be one of his favorite things to do is get the legs tied up. All right, right out of bounds. Reset, back in bounds again. It looks like the Elginet guy was favoring his shoulder when they came up. I'm not sure if he had a problem or. It's again, Pender for Elginet against Matt Volpe, the senior for Marysville. Matt's got a two point lead right now. Oh my God. Oh, the Vikings are ahead. Overall in the match, that's a good sign. We talked earlier in the preseason, Coach Meyer would like to get the team off to a good start, get the winning ways started early. All right, Volpe's got him in a cradle. He's got him tied up like this. This is gonna be close right now. Can Matt finish it off? 30 seconds to go in the period, and he's just about got him down. Now he's just gotta get his shoulder out of there and move up on top of him towards the side that the shoulder's still up. But very, also very keep him- Very, very close, got him. All right, good pin by Matt Volpe. Shows a lot of good flexibility and athleticism. Experience of the senior really showed in that one, didn't it? 112 goes to Matt Volpe with the pin. That makes three pins now for the Vikings. Now leading with 33 over the Muskrats with 21. Number uh, the 119, the sophomore Nick Dunlap coming out now for the Vikings against Kyle Allen, the freshman. Once Dunlap for the Vikings, Allen for the Muskrats. Now this is, you're gonna look at another one with the earlier matches. Um, I imagine Dunlap has got a bit more experience being the upperclassman. Got some good experience in last year. Nick did, so see if he can put it to good use. Goes down low, gets that leg in a hurry. Nice reversal getting to his back. Two points. It looked like Allen was 
Getting to get to his back, then Nick first very quickly and got right, switched it right around Nick to his back. All right, now he's got him. Looks like he might pin him right here. Well, this could be good if Vikings could get another pin right away. Looks like it right here. All right, looks like he's got both shoulders down. He's got very good center balance. He's got his the center of his body on top of his chest so he can't move his shoulders. All right, nice Referee Phil Le Lieblang marks it out. Dunlap with the pin. Good job at 119. That's the fourth pin for the Vikings. Good job. That'll bring up Clayton Smith at 125. Clayton Smith, the senior, coming in at 125 against Gutz, Gutzreit. Gutzreit. <laughs> See if I can get that one right, say it three times fast. Brendan Gutzreit. All right, this is another one. Um, Gutzreit being a sophomore going up against the senior. Experience looks like it might be um, a, a little bit factor. in Clayton's favor, being the upperclassman, like you said. Yeah, and he went right for the single leg. He reversed him, got right to his back. He's moving out of. He's being really aggressive, but it got out of bounds. They were moving really fast. He's keeping the pace going, moving around all the time. Two points, very quickly. Great job. A lot of hustle out of Clayton, keeping it moving. All right, now that's what he's doing right now. This is called a ball and chain. It's to get it, well, he was attempting it, getting it so he get him out of their base and flip him over to their back. All right, he's got him locked up again. Good job by Clayton Smith, using his quickness, getting in low. Clayton going for the double leg, gets a double leg. Two, Two points. Clayton. Four to one lead now, period number one, one minute to go. 39-21 in favor of the Vikings overall. All right, now he's got his leg tied up like Matt did earlier in his in earlier match, and he's gonna try to keep doing that and hopefully get um, the Elginet guy down to his back. Like to stand back up, that's one point for the Elginet guy for escape. All right, good job by Smith, taking his time, picking his targets, four to two. All right, Clayton got his back again, that's another two points. Six to two now. 20 seconds to go in the first period. He's keeping Ren on top of Ren and, and that's what's really getting him a lot of his points is these takedowns and getting his back. There he goes. That was a nice way to get him down to his stomach. All right, it looks like the final seconds are running down. Period number one comes to a close. Six to two, Clayton Smith on top. All right, looks like they're going to the deferred position. They're both gonna be standing. Oh, excuse me, it looks like Clayton is going to the referee's position on bottom. Oh, well, we have a good M6 crew working the match tonight. Along with you, Jake Gorson on the microphone. Liz Turtridge doing the directing for us. Aaron Corden is our technical director. Katie Kelly's back in the control room doing audio. So is Nick Cook, he's on the capture tech position. In the gym. On our cameras, Jake Sargent, Billy Henderson, Kelsey Mosier, and Julie Sherbet. All M6 hardworking young students doing a great job bringing this right to your living room. It's eight to two now, period number two, minute 30 to go in period number two. Uh, Vikings are leading 39 to 21, and Clayton's got his back again, which has constantly been doing, getting his points up exponentially. Um, Clayton's got him on his back. This is going to be close. He's almost got him finished up. 
Referee's right in there. He's gotten out of it. All right, he's back on his back. That's another, I think that's three points. Three points for Clayton. There he goes. All right, he's got him in the same position again on his back. This is 125 pounds. Goodsight, Brendan Goodsight for Algonac. Against right, Clayton his, Smith. All right, he's got his back. It's another three points for Clayton. 45 seconds to go, period number two. Clayton leading 14 to two, he's got a large lead. Tactically, he's just looking for the openings and accumulating the points. Definitely, he's he knows how to get the points. That's You can tell by, he goes to his back all the time. That's one of the biggest ways to get points. It's the highest scoring three points is a big score when you're looking at it. Yep. Once again, we talked about it earlier with the longer matches, the, the conditioning. They really spent a lot of energy in that first uh, period and a half, so now it's slowing down just a little bit. Five seconds to go, period number two. All right, as the clock winds down, um, Clayton's still leading 14 to three. He'll be in the down position to begin with in period number three. 39-21, favor the Marysville Vikings. Alex, he, he immediately goes for the leg grab, but Clayton looks like he might be strong enough to stand up and flip into his back. Goodsight is working hard, giving it everything he's got, but the uh, senior, Clayton Smith, strategically has got a lot of things going for him right now. After four years of wrestling, he's seen almost every move, I'm sure. Definitely. And I imagine before high school, he's probably been wrestling a lot of his life through elementary and middle school, too. Experience is a really big factor in this sport. 15 to three, favor Clayton Smith and the Vikings. All right, Third another, period, one minute to go. Another thing that Clayton's doing is you can notice he gets extremely low. The lower you are, the better chance you have for getting a takedown. And every takedown you get is worth two points. Then if you get the takedown and go to his back, you get another three. And that's what Clayton's been doing this entire match. Gets right back up to his feet too when he doesn't get that. 45 seconds to go in the third period. All right, let's see he's going for a single leg. Oh, moved right to a double. All right, now he's trying to roll him over so um, Brandon isn't being able to be in an upright position. Two more points for Smith, 17 to three. The crowd's quieted down just a little bit on this one. Ten, five, four, three, two, one, and out. Good win for Clayton Smith and the Marysville Vikings. <laughs> Seeing one of these longer matches like this, you can tell that Clayton had a big advantage on experience. He was getting all the points moving through the match and won by a large margin of 17 to three, bringing the Vikings up 43 to 21.